What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And you already know what time it is. Mm, tips it off. Alright people, back for another Tipsy Talk, um, and I am super annoyed, not annoyed at my equipment, not annoyed at any person or whatever, I'm annoyed at Mother Nature, <laughs> why is the skin blurry, I'm annoyed at Mother Nature, Mother Nature will not stop raining. You know, shout out to all the people down south, Arkansas, Texas. It's getting all this winter weather, and they don't know what to do with it. You know, it's kind of a gift and a curse. They're happy they're getting it, but they don't know how to handle it. You know, it's a winter wonderland for them. But for us, every time they get some kind of winter wonderland, or up north get some kind of winter winter wonderland, I can't say winter wonderland for some reason, we end up getting rain. So all these nice snowstorms that's happening around the, the country, we get the back end of it. <laughs> and so it's literally, it'll rain for two days. We'll get three days of gloominess. It don't, the sun don't even come out. And then it'll rain again. It feels like I'm living in Seattle or something. <sighs> My yard's just mud. And I'm pretty sure most of my customers' yards is just mud. And the messed up part about it is that this is the time I'm going out to, like, prep my yards. Like, I don't know if y'all do prep. I, I, I go out. Once I get a confirmation with somebody that they want me to come back and work with their yard again. Or, you know, the people I know I want to work with again. I like to go out and see how the yard looks you know you might say it's wasting gas you might say it's wasting time but for me I don't want to be surprised I don't want to show up that first cut of the season and there's leaves everywhere there's branches all in the yard and I'm just like there for an extra hour trying to clean all this up and I, and I kind of do that for free. I, it might be dumb. You might be like, what? You go out and do a, a spring clean up for, for free? It's not, I wouldn't call it a spring clean up. Now, if I get out there and it's a full yard of leaves, then I'm going to have to contact the customer and let them know. But if I get out there and there's something, I can whip out the blower blow it over in the woods in about 10 minutes pick up a couple of branches things that's just gonna make my first cut of the season run a lot smoother I'll do it you know I'm not gonna be there for no hour I probably won't even be here for 30 minutes it's just to have that peace of mind that when I set my schedule up for that first week of cutting I'm gonna hit these yards boom 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 so with all that being said, this rain has delayed that. I would start doing that probably middle of February. And now it's, it's February 20th. <laughs> uh, and I don't foresee myself. I don't foresee the yards being dried out. I'm going to have to go out this week. The next week or whatever coming up just to look just I gotta go see also people in Atlanta well people I mentioned and I think it was in my last tipsy talk or, or something about a meetup in Atlanta and people are excited about that. 
Uh, I'm going to say it like this, right? It might... There is a strong possibility. My wife wants to go to Atlanta, right? There's a strong possibility that I could go down to Atlanta in March sometime, right? And if y'all are serious, I will do a little meetup. It won't be nothing fancy. It'll be a, it probably will be a lunch because, you know, we'll be going down there for a day and I can meet up for like lunch or something. We can hang out. I don't know if they got any. Well, Atlanta seems wide open, but <laughs> but let me know. And um, I mean, it, as of now, it won't be no giveaways. It won't be nothing. It'll just be me. <laughs> if you don't want to hang out with me, that's fine. I understand. You know, I'm not gonna be giving away. No mowers with Toro or Skag or Gravely or nothing like that. It's just going to be me and uh, chilling, having a beer, getting some appetizers or something, um, taking, some pay, uh, taking some pictures, shaking some hands, kissing some babies or whatever. So, like I said, if y'all are serious... I might be in Atlanta in March. So let me know if y'all are serious. Because it seems like y'all are really serious. So, uh, you know, and that will be kind of a good thing. You know, I loved that thing down in Tampa. You know, I saw people coming out from everywhere to meet up and to hang out. And you got to understand, these meetups, like I'm saying, come hang out with me. But it's not just about me. Like, our lawn care community is so cool in the fact that we, we help each other. Because you gotta understand, like, you might have somebody from North Carolina, somebody from Virginia, somebody from Georgia, somebody from Arkansas. And we come all meet up and we share knowledge and, and we share how our setups and stuff because we're not all in the same area and even if we're in the same area you still can share knowledge because it's hundreds of houses if not thousands of houses if not hundreds of thousands of houses like I just think about my neighborhood like my neighborhood probably literally has 500 houses right 500 houses so even if you said half of those houses people cut their own grass all right so that leaves 250 houses now you know what i mean like that's 200 or at least 200 opportunities for me to get some yards i don't really try to get i don't know why i don't really try to get yards in my house neighborhood i really want them like, that was my dream when I first started. I said, I just want to cut all these yards, like, right in my neighborhood. <laughs> Ride around to, on my mower, literally, to the yard. But, uh, I don't know why I haven't made that happen. I kind of just go with the flow. I don't think I'm motivated. <laughs> I call myself pacing myself, right? Like, I don't really advertise because I don't want to grow too fast. But it, it kind of has worked, you know? I've kind of grown at the pace I want to grow. Last year, I didn't advertise. I went from 25 customers to 60 customers. But I guess, I mean, if you count my, my trailer, I guess that was advertising. So I did pay $400 for advertising. But I didn't put any ads out in the newspaper or on Facebook or YouTube or whatever. 
But um, I have no idea what this tipsy talk is about. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting ready for the season. What are your goals for the season? Let me think about what my goals are for this season. First and foremost, let me think about what I need to buy right now. I need to buy a new spreader. I beat my spreader up. I, I always buy Agrofab toe behind spreaders, so I think this year I'm gonna buy Agrofab push spreader. Um, I gotta buy a truck, a whole truck. And with that being said, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have my dad come out with me when I go do these prep prep jobs just so my dad can get a feel of it and like I can set up my dad on my jobber app and he'll have the jobber app on his phone and he'll see the jobs that he has to go to so I can get him used to doing that what else do I need to buy for the season oh well um, I still need to change the hydro fluid in my gray bleed still need to sharpen all my blades get them right for the season um, I mean that's all the real equipment I need I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready you know what I mean I got I got tremors I got blowers I got mowers I'm ready to go I have been thinking of a couple of no, I'm, I'm getting off topic. Uh, goals. Right now, I'm at 60 customers, and the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, I imagine myself being at like 70 customers. That was like, oh, I, I hope I could get to 70 customers or whatever. And I did that in a year. I went from 25 to 60. I know I'm not at 70, but I'm definitely going to get to 70 this year. And, um, what the heck is that? And, uh, <laughs> I don't even have a goal for customers this year. Cause I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I was cutting sixty customers. I was—I don't want to say sixty. I was cutting about fifty to fifty-five customers last year, and I didn't even know. It. I didn't even know it. And so now this year, I know minimum I'm probably going to end with like eighty, if not more. And there's no way I'm going to do that by myself. I mean, I guess I could. But I'll have to commit to leaving at like 8 or 9 in the morning. And I know you're like, oh, what's the problem with that? The, the problem, the, th the thing that threw the monkey wrench in it for me this year or last year was the fact this pandemic. And my daughter at home online schooling. Normally, when I, when I went full time, and I, I plan with my business, I plan to wake up in the morning, get my daughter on the bus by 8, and I'm out of here at like no later than 9. And I'm out mowing and, and doing what I need to do every day by 9. But with the pandemic, I had to stay home, help my daughter. My wife is at home. She works from home. But I still, have, I still just wanted to stay home and make sure everything was kosher. Married people know what that's about. <laughs> so that kind of messed up my schedule. So this year, I think I'm going to have to commit to <clears throat> leaving early. No later than nine. I think last year I was averaging like 10 or 10.30 when I left. This year I'm gonna have to average like nine at the minimum. 
Um, what other goals do I have? Financial goals. Like. When I hit that 50 or 50. Like I said, like I, said I didn't even realize I hit that 50 or 55 customer mark last year. But around the time when I hindsight when I go back and think about it around that time I hit that mark I was making the money that I um, dreamed about I'm, I won't say dream about because I dream about making a whole lot of money but what I mean by that is when I quit my job I wasn't nowhere close to making the amount of money I needed to make to pay bills and to save money. I was making like less than than like the next year I was started off making a little bit more than less than but um by the end of last season I was at that point and I, I guess I say this is to say people a lot of people gas people up just to go full time, you know, jump out there. It's going to be a gap unless you already have like 50 or 60 customers. If you have 30 customers, it's going to be a gap to pay your bills. And maybe depending on how much your bills are. For me, it was a gap. And so I had to gradually get more and more customers until I filled that gap. And with 60 customers, I, I pay all my bills, and I'm able to put some money away every month. So, like I said, a goal with that is this year I'll be starting off at that point. So, I should be able to save a decent amount of money. Um, another goal. Replace the Mustang. Uh, the Mustang. It's done its due diligence. It's served its purpose. When I got the Mustang in 2013. I said I was not going to have this more for no longer than five years. Before I got a commercial more. And I ended up getting a commercial more in 2016 commercial zero thing and so that bad boy's been hanging around so that bad boy is 2021 that bad boy is eight years old bro for commercial mowers uh, or a residential mower used commercially that's big real big <laughs> so uh I'm gonna replace it I'm gonna get a gravely probably a residential grave thing because I don't want to spend that much money and then I'm gonna get a bagger for it and so I'm you know that's that's that goal another goal that's a faint goal that's not really a priority is getting um, an electric push mower if y'all remember I got the Atlas Chainsaw and the Atlas Chainsaw is a series where it has you know trimmers blowers all that and it also has push mowers so I'm gonna get an electric push mower that I can use the same battery that I got with that for the mower and that'll be just for particular yards like small areas or ditches that I, I don't want to cut with a, uh, my walk behind so that's that um what are your goals L let me know what your goals are yeah what are your goals This is probably one of the most randomest uh, <laughs> tipsy talks ever, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, it will stop raining 
and I can actually get out here and make some videos that don't involve mud. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, stay tuned. Yes, sir.